ooh, ooh, you gotta get this, you gotta get this. Well, people around you, you know they did you no good, you know they dogged you out, you know they hurt you, they crippled you, they threw you a pig, yet God calls it, well, you still gotta look at them, you still gotta smell their scent, you still gotta work with them, you still gotta relate to them, you still gotta be around. What happens when people that have messed you over and you still gotta interact with them? How do you handle that? a pit experience I still gotta go to church with her I still gotta worship with him how do you respond you must be healed from them ah you didn't get that one you must be healed from them see I get to the point where I'm mature enough and spiritual enough and in right relationship with God that no matter what you do to me I can be around you and not lose my religion because I've been healed from them them don't move me and stop letting them move you they lied on me I ain't going to church no more but now, three weeks ago, you declared how you were being blessed, yeah, yeah, yeah. how the word was changing you, uh-huh. yet them made you mad, yeah. and you stopped receiving something that was... Uh-huh. But what's really crazy is when a man yeah. come and say, Pastor, I had to quit my job today. I wasn't going to let them disrespect me. Can you let me borrow $20? <laughs> now them got lunch money, gas money, light bill money, mortgage money, rent money, and you so who won? How long are you gonna let them defeat you? You have to learn how to be healed from them even if you gotta look at them every day. Oh, I hope I'm blessing somebody. Let this be the year where you can see them and be healed from them. Now again, it's a process. Because the first time you see them, you might want to come way back here. Then the next time you see them, it's starting to come to you. A few weeks later, you can pray for them. You might even get to the point you can Keep in front of you. Keep in front of you. Amen. Be wise. Keep in front of you. Don't, don't let them get behind you. Keep in front of you. Remember, if they push you to the pit, they got behind you. Keep, keep in front of you. Keep your eyes on them. Because watch what happens. Joseph comes out of the pit. And he never ends up back in the pit. Because he's healed through his pit experience. He forgives them. How do I know? Because later on in his life, he becomes somebody. And they go through hard times. And he blessed them financially. He saves their lives. Even though they try to take his life. That's how I know he forgave them. How do I know he got over them? Because they didn't recognize him. Because he had prospered so much. And the last time they saw him, he was dirty because they left him in the dirt. Uh, you're not getting that. See, see, there are some people when they left out of your life, you were brought up from the floor up and they don't recognize the new you. So when they come back in your zone, they don't even know that's you. Because you can drop 20 pounds. You can keep your weed down. You tighten all the right places. Hey, don't you know that that's that story? So that's your ex. No, no. I feel bad. When you diss somebody, then you see them again. Yeah, you dissed when they was on a you know, bus line in the rain. Yeah. Then you pull up at the restaurant 
And you walk in and you sweat because you had to park three, four blocks down because you couldn't valet park. You get to the front and they pull up in their brand new shiny car, getting that, getting the valet ticket. Yeah. <laughs> See, remember, on your way up, everybody you dog on your way up, you will pass by them on your way back down. Let me, my time, let me get me close. Why it's so valuable to be healed in the pit? Because you skip one chapter, chapter 38. God just dropped some whole different story in the middle of Joseph's life. And get to chapter 39, verse number 2. After he came out of the pit, the Bible says, he was successful. He was successful. After everything he went through, he was successful. Remember the song they sung? You don't know what it took for me to get here? When you saw Joseph in chapter 39, you saw success. Because he no longer looked like the pit he came out of. If you come out the pit the right way, you won't look like the pit you just came out of. You'll look like success. And not only was he successful, the Bible says he had the favor of the Lord. And I would rather the favor of the Lord than the favor of the people. Because people might change their minds. But God will keep elevating me. People will push you in a pit, but God will push you to the next level. So he was successful. He had the favor of the Lord. It also says he had authority. He had authority. People answered to him. If you really want to be on top, when you go through the pit, allow God to heal you. So when you come out on the other side, no matter if they like you or not, they have to call you successful. No matter if they care about you or not, they have to recognize the favor of the Lord is on you. And those same folks who dogged you out will have to one day answer to you. Because God will give you power and authority. When you come out of the pit, come out the right way. On yesterday, we were in the hospital visiting Sister Carter. And I heard my wife tell her, girl, you better eat if you want to get well and get out of here. And I'll close with that. Church, you better eat. If you want to get well and get out of whatever you're in, you better eat. What do I eat? You better eat this word. You better learn how to stop whining and complaining moaning and groaning. You better consume this word. You better eat this word. You better digest this word. You better get this word. This word becomes all If you want to get out of this pit and not end up back. See, it's one thing. See, the hospital won't keep you long. I don't care how stacked your insurance is. They're going to get you in and out. And they let you out the wrong way before you're totally healed you'll probably end up right back in now. Yes, That's why while you're in there, you better eat. So you'll come out well. Yes, sir. And I'm telling you this year, yes, sir. I'm declaring yes. you'll be healed. Yes. This will be the best year of your life, yes, but only if you eat this word. If you eat this word. Yes. If you eat this word. Yes. If you eat this word. Yes. But they hurt me. Get some word. Yes. They lied on me. Get some word. They walked out on me, get some more. They fired me, get some more. Pastor, I'm hurting. I got a negative doctor report. Get some more. Yeah, yeah. But Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. Yes, I know the way out. Yeah. Get some more. That's good. That's good. I pray you've been blessed this morning. Listen.